everyone, and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. If you're new here, I'm Yoshida, and I am a self-employed hairstylist who is basically trying to get my life together and my finances together. So here on the channel, we do mainly a lot of budgeting, sometimes cash stuffing, and definitely some planning of my life. Um, sometimes the planning is functional and sometimes it's minimal, uh, but I do try to keep it minimal. So um, if it sounds like something that you're interested in, um, please stay tuned. Uh, so today we're going to be doing our monthly budget for February. I know I'm behind. Um, for those of you who are new, I do have a subscription box of budget items that are curated just for your planner each month. So I've been working on that and I'm kind of focusing on that. So I've been lacking over here a little bit, but I have done me a, cons a content calendar. So I plan to get back consistent. So real quick, let's go over, Feb excuse me, January. <clears throat> so in the month of January, I guesstimated that I would make $3,500. I guesstimated 600 in Norris Cove and Etsy wasn't on there, but, um, the 100 envelopes, I do sell those on my Etsy. They will soon be moving over to my website because Etsy fees are killing me. It's not making it worth the work. Actually, I'm printing envelopes now as we speak, trying to multitask. But um, my variable expenses was gas, um, products, and a miscellaneous. I did way more than this in products and probably about uh, 120 in gas. Everything was paid, and I actually gave my State Farm more, and I was just kept saying all month, like, where's this money coming from? I don't know. Um, if you're not a believer, I am. I believe in God, and I just kept saying, well, he's done it before. He'll do it again, and he did it, y'all. He did it. This is what we made in hair, $4,628.35. Um, Norris Cove, I guess they made it six. We did eight forty fifty seven in January. Um, a lot of that is the budget box, but um, the budget box is kind of dying down. We're losing subscribers, which is, you know, just typical, and I'm okay with it. I thought of stopping it, but I'm like, no, it's going to get better. I just got to keep going. Something just won't let me stop. And then Etsy, like I said, it was a surprise, so we made $108 in Etsy, and we're already like over 100 in Etsy um, for the month of February. So, um, like my last month, we're going to do February. I'm going to probably, to make the video short, I'm going to probably list everything out. Um, I'll probably try to do my monthly calendar on here. Um, <clears throat> this was January uh, monthly calendar. Um, you can find these inserts on my website. And these are just monthlies, dated monthlies. And I was trying to track my income this way, but I kind of lost track along third week. And then let's get into February. Well, I'm going to use kind of January to see what I have going on. Let's make some room. Okay. And also, you can find this task card, finance task card, on my website as well. It comes a little bigger. I just trimmed it down. So we're in the month of February. Um, my sources, my first one is hair. That is just my main job. Um, Norris Cove is my second main job. Also this month, I'm starting back doing nails again. I know I was counting and I have like five streams of income. I'm trying to bump it up to seven. Um, I really think I'm at like kind of four and a half, but anywho, um, we're going to do Etsy because I know I made some sales this month and then nails, uh, for the month of February for hair. Uh, I just, ugh, I'm going to look. Uh, I got some old clients come back. Let's just make it 4000 Oh, I forgot a zero. <clears throat> For Norris Cove, like I said, we've lost some subscribers. We have a good amount of three-month subscribers, so they're kind of paid up. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to be renewing. I, did anyone renew at 90-something? I don't think so. So I'm going to bring Norris Cove to 400 Plus, we have some new releases. Etsy, I'm putting at 100 because, uh, like I said, I already know I'm working on some February orders and we're already over $100. Nails, I'm going to leave that at 40 because so far I just have one person. But I'm going to do a little advertising, <clears throat> trying to declutter so I can get that area together to welcome clients again. So, off the break, my expenses. me wind and rain. It's 
So <clears throat> our total number is $3,226.30, which is kind of a good thing, $226.30, not bad considering um, what all I got going on and the cost of stuff that I'm paying. So let's do a total on my income. So my income is at $4,540. And I was not including Norris Cove, but I've been paying out of pocket for the products, which I'm well over <laughs> 400 at this point. So <clears throat> what I've been doing is just kind of saving it. And then if I need it for something, um, like the other day when the numbers came in, there were some products I was waiting to get. And I just went ahead and paid for that and then maybe paid myself back if not. So, um, and like I just leave the majority of the money in my account until I need it. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. So we have $4,540 and we're subtracting $3,226.30. That leaves us one thousand three hundred and thirteen dollars and seventy cent. Hey, so anyway, um, sinking funds. Um, I want to do a hundred so far. Um, that's part of the cash envelopes. Variable expenses. I'm gonna put that at two hundred. So we're gonna subtract the hundred. Subtract two. $1,113 over my savings. So I was wrong. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So that leaves us with a total of 924. I'm just going to put that over there. And I think that's where I should put that. So, anywho, so that's where we're going to stop our monthly budget. I'm going to just kind of stick that back in. So, this is what we have for the month of February. I think we're doing pretty good. We're left with 900 and $24, um, there's always something. I have a surprise bill every month. So there's always something. These totals aren't always right. And again, for those of you who are new here, I'm a self-employed hairstylist and sometimes this may not be my income. So I like having this slight buffer. 
Um, I don't know if I told you guys in the last video, but I have opened up a high yield savings account right at the end of the year last year. And I try to just put like $10 a month. I got to do a video on my digital envelope. So I'll probably just fill out my monthly here um, for February. I think I'm going to probably do that offline because I don't want to hold y'all. And um, I just wanted to get a, get a video out for you guys, let you know, guys, I'm still budgeting. Um, I did do my weeklies. I've just been doing them off because when I want to do them, I look up it's Thursday. OK, but I have a new content calendar, so hopefully I'm going to be able to stick with it. But um, maybe I'll just speed through this. Let's speed through this. How about that?
Okay, you guys, so this is my February finished. Um, I like to just do the basics. As you all could probably see, I just write down what's due first. Then I go back and maybe put stickers, but I want to just make sure that I know my, I know pretty much when everything's due. And uh, let me point out something. So these uh, corner stickers, these indicate my busy kind of weeks. So this is my busy Saturday. This is my busy Saturday. This is my busy Monday. This is my busy Monday. So these days are important to me being self-employed because on if I'm busy on this Saturday, like Chase falls here, I know that I can schedule Chase um, to come out and it'll come out. I'll have the money for it. And then it lines up. It's almost like a payday. So it's almost like my paydays. And I can see what bills I can pay. Um, like this falls on a Monday. Luckily this week, only things to do is... Oh, I forgot Canva. Canva and uh, Chase. Also, I need to put down that I'm getting an oil change. And I'll put a little thing here. And I need to get gas. So I know that what I make from Monday will cover these things. If there's anything that I scheduled last week, um, like uh, Credit One, that is scheduled for today, which is Sunday the 5th. It'll probably not come out until Wednesday, but I'll have the money from here that it'll come out. So I like to use these corners to indicate these, and these came in our sub box. Um, these little bill do stickers, script stickers with the dots, they are in the shop. And then these are, um, I'm working on these, but um, I have some of these in the shop, but they're just a smaller form. And I just wanted to kind of use them. But that allows me to see kind of like my quote unquote paydays or busy weeks where I know I can kind of float something or it will cover something like this week coming is going to be the busy Saturday I have to go ahead and save that money for all of this that's coming here this Monday this week even though there's not a lot of bills due all this money pretty much covers next week even though I make money this week it just is not my busy week so I know I need to hold on to some money from this week to help cover next week in case it's slow quote unquote slow and then I just use this washing strip just to I was looking for my little new thin um things I still got some hold on I'm gonna switch that out these were in a sub box and they should be on the website i have some open but then i have plenty i'll just use these i'm gonna take this out because it really doesn't match but i was trying to use something to define a line uh oh oh god Hold on. it's okay so i think i'll use the brown it goes a little better And then I'm just going to kind of overlap. Should cut it, but let me switch it this way. And that lets me know that subs were going out on this week. So also I can see ahead, like in my business planner, which I'll do a completely flip of. I, over here, I have everything categorized, like what goes out, what I need to order, and whatever. So boxes, like in my business planner, I'm supposed to get boxes this week if I need boxes. That way, if there's a delay, I definitely have them this week, and I can start to pack the boxes. So all my calendars kind of flow, but this is my, of course, budget planner. So if I feel like decorating, I mean, but I very seldom decorate, decorate in this one. I mainly try to do that in my little everyday carry. But uh, thank you all again so much for watching. Again, if this was your first time here and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.